Okay, you'll get it this time. You just watch. Okay, Rexy. Circle. Circle. You did it! Good job, Rexy. Here's a tree. See? They're food oriented, just like me. Pretty cool, but uh, how long have you been in here? Uh, I'm not really sure. What day is it? Yeah, you should probably go take a break. I'll watch the baby dinos. Oh, if that's a good idea. I mean, they've been really mischievous lately, and that's why I've been trying to train them. But, okay, you can watch them, but just promise me that they'll take a nap soon, okay? No problem. And I'll just use my new gadget, the Dino Walkie Talkie. And instead of just imitating people, it can imitate dinosaurs. Let me see. Oh, man. I must have left it at the lookout. No problem. Don't you worry about it for one second, Park Ranger Asher. One Dino Maki Taki rescue mission coming right up. Now, you guys be good for Park Ranger Asher, okay? And don't you forget that lunchtime is snap time. Copy that, Park Ranger. Copy that? Lunchtime is nap time. Wow, that's very impressive. I should give Park Ranger Andy an achievement badge for his hard work. Wait, Brachiosaurus, Triceratops, T-Rex. Oh no, the baby Parasaurolophus is missing! Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Park Ranger Asher was right. I do feel better with the sun on my face and nothing to worry about. Certainly not those baby dinos, who I know are safe and sound. If I was a baby Pierce where would I be? Who threw that? Very mischievous. Maki Taki Mission Achievement. Park Ranger Asher, this is Park Ranger Andy. Come on in. Copy, I'm here. You okay? Sure. Just playing with the baby dinos. I mean, putting them to bed. Oh, good. Well, I have great news. I have found the Dino Maki Taki. That is great news. Thank you. You're not coming back yet, though, right? Take all the time you need. Hey, you know what? I do deserve a little break. All right, I am going to take some time. Park Ranger Andy, over and out. Ah. Well, let's see here. How does this thing work? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is fun. <laughs> Can't get into trouble with this. I'm a dinosaur! Rawr! Two down, two to go. Gotcha! Three down, one baby Parasaurolophus to go. Oh no! It's a door! When I get back, I'm gonna make sure those baby dinos get more fresh air and exercise. Too much time inside Dino HQ can make someone go a little <laughs> crazy. <gasps> oh, hello there. Wait a minute, I thought you were taking on that. Hey, I guess not. Stay sleepy, little guys. I've got to find Baby Pear before Park Ranger Andy gets back. 
And that is my impression of a pteranodon under the rest. Huh. All right, well, fine. I'll give it a five out of ten myself. But if you want to hear something really cool, listen to this. This is Park Ranger Asher's newest gadget, which perfectly imitates any dinosaur. <laughs> It's okay, don't run make believe. In fact, the stegosaurus is actually a very friendly animal. Now, well, how about some lunch? Was that my stomach or yours? I don't know if that's my stomach. Do I want to look? because the park ranger asher's catches. Oh, I should have been the T-Rex out and scared your way. <gasps> hey, wait a minute. That gives me an idea. I have an idea. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Science saved me again. There you are. <gasps> baby Pyrobolus! Baby Stumblomagus! Baby Pyrobolus is lovely as some of us! Uh, uh, baby, hey, I'm gonna call you that for sure. Stop running. Huh? Oh. What Ranger Asher? What are you doing here? Oh, um, looking for her. Sorry, Park Ranger Andy. I tried my best, but she snuck away when I wasn't looking. No, yeah, that's okay. Like I said, they can be pretty mischievous. Luckily, they can also get tuckered out easily too. Oh, well, it's as good as me. <laughs> Let's go home. Oh, you're so cute, aren't you? Bird Ranger Andy, because you did such a good job training baby dinos, I would like to give you a terrific trainer badge. No way, this is awesome! This is awesome! You know, I've never actually gotten an achievement badge before. Maybe it's the first of many. Yeah, well, maybe I'm gonna get an achievement badge for finally getting my achievement badge. Do they have those? <gasps> How about this? I get a badge for coming with the idea of giving out achievement badges for giving out an achievement badge. Yeah. <sighs> oh, maybe I get an achievement badge for going to sleep. <laughs> Oh. Who am I kidding? I can't sleep. I'm too excited. Maybe I'll play with the baby dinos. Where are the baby dinos? <laughs> favorite dinosaur to feed? Well, I like the stegosaurus because it's so gentle and eats the veggies right out of your hand. Yeah. Well, how about your least favorite dinosaur to feed? Oh, I've got to say the raptors. They look at you with those claws like your dinner. Yeah, and I feel like if they ate you, they would burp after. Rude and scary. That's why I brought us here to the Ojai Raptors. Oh, raptors? It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna learn. We're gonna learn about raptors today and we're gonna learn maybe how to take care of them for when we go back to T-Rex Ranch. Okay. All right? Yeah. It's fine. Let's go. Oh, hi. 
Hi. Hi, Park Ranger Andy. Hi. This is Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you both. I'm Jacqueline from the Ojai Raptor Center. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're a wildlife rehabilitation facility. Specialize in wildlife, but raptors specifically. And we take in about a thousand injured, sick, and orphan raptors a year. And as wildlife rehabilitators, our main goal is to make them well again and release them back to the wild where they belong. Back into the wild? All those raptors? Out in the wild? Uh, um, yeah, birds of prey. All right! Birds! Of course you're talking about birds, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah! We know you're not talking about dinosaurs. Yeah, That'd be ridiculous no if you're talking about dinosaurs. You can't yeah. release them out in the wild. They'd have to be in like a ranch or something. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't exist though, right? Right. So yeah, we consider owls, hawks, falcons, eagles, and vultures here. We consider all of those birds to be raptors. So actually, we're getting into our busiest season here in all of wildlife rehabilitation where we receive lots of babies that have been separated from their parents. Usually their nests have been destroyed and they need to be raised by people in captivity. But we have to make sure that they maintain their natural fear of humans in order for them to be successful once we release them back to the wild. So we have to make sure they don't become too comfortable with humans or see humans as their friends or anything. So so we cover our features, we disguise ourselves, and we feed them actually with a fake owl so they never get too used to humans. Do you guys want to help me feed the orphans? Yeah, yeah. I love playing dress up. Okay, here are your suits. So you're gonna put these on because again, these are not pets, these are wild animals, and we have to make sure that the baby owls don't get used to seeing people. So we're gonna put these on to disguise our features, and then we're gonna go feed the baby owls little pieces of food because they're too young to eat by themselves. Okay. This will be easy peasy. Yeah. Okay, Ranger AJ, you look like you're all set. You got your GLA suit on. Yes. Ready to go inside the hospital and feed? Yeah. Okay, we have to make sure that we're very, very quiet when we go inside the hospital, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'll be right behind you. And I'll be really quiet. So some of our birds are unfortunately not releasable to the wild and we train them to become ambassadors for their species. So would you like to meet some of our non-releasable ambassador raptors? I would love to. I'd love to see yeah. something. I can't see anything. Hi, AJ. Hi, Andy. Hi. I'm Kimberly here with our ambassador brewing, Al Topper. Hi, Topper. Hi, Topper. Baby? No, actually, he's full grown. He's about seven years old. As with dinosaurs, raptors come in all shapes and sizes. And as a matter of fact, about half of the owls in North America are small owls, like topper or even smaller. His eyes just pierce right through your soul. I know, his eyes are pretty amazing, right? All raptor eyes are pretty amazing. Amazing. I've never seen that color yellow on an eye before. And actually, some of the things in his eyes are related to why we have Topper. What do you mean? So, well, with all of our ambassadors, they can't survive in the wild. That's why they live with us as ambassadors. And Topper came to us after having a head injury, and he has some damage to his eyes as well. That's why he can't survive in the wild. So he's a brown owl? Yes, he is. What's that mean? Well, although we think of most birds and most owls living mostly in the sky or up high in trees, these guys spend most of their life on the ground and they actually nest underground. Although these guys are a predator like other raptors, the small raptors are both predator and prey. So basically anything big enough to hunt him, including other raptors, will hunt them. They're also endangered by dogs, feral cats, raccoons, and snakes. 
So they actually have a super cool way to help protect themselves from predators. When they're feeling threatened or when the babies are in the burrow and feel threatened, they actually make a sound like a rattlesnake. And that wards off most predators. And for the babies, it makes their parents come back home to protect them. So if there's a fight between the owl and a rattlesnake, who's gonna win? Well, that's a tough call. A burrowing owl couldn't actually fight off a rattlesnake the way that a red-tailed hawk or a great horned owl could catch one, but they might be able to ward it off with their snake sounds and otherwise just um, do something that's called mobbing when they fly at a potential predator to just scare it off. Are they friendly with other owls of their same kind? That's a great question. I think good. So because many of their hosts live in colonies, burrowing owls tend to also be colonial. So they can nest just with one pair, but in the past they've actually had populations of thousands of burrowing owls in one place because we had such huge colonies of prairie dogs. Is it true owls can spin their heads all the way around? Well, they can't quite spin their heads 360 degrees all the way around. However, owls and other raptors can look completely over their shoulder. So Topper can turn his head um, from looking straight at you all the way to looking over his shoulder. It's about 140 degrees. Well, Topper's getting a little tired, so I need to take him home. But Jacqueline is ready to introduce you to another of our super cool ambassador raptors. I think you're going to love it. Well, I will be glad to see it. So what's the owl thing? Who? The owl. Who? I'm asking about the owl. Who? <sighs> the owl says who? Says what? Who? What? Who? I don't get it. Good job. This is Rosie, and she is our non-releasable red-tailed hawk ambassador. Why did you guys name her Rosie? That's a good question. So we named Rosie Rosie because her beautiful red tail, that red-tailed hawks, which is her species, what they're known for. A little side note for you, red-tailed hawks don't actually get their red tail until they're about two years old or just before, once they become mature. So if you see a juvenile red-tailed hawk, they'll have a brown and tan striped tail. You know, I named my bathtub Rosie. Why'd you name your bathtub Rosie? Well, every time I don't clean it, I get a ring around the Rosie. We've had Rosie for 17 years. She came to us when she was only one years old, so she was a juvenile with a broken wing in her right wing, actually, in her shoulder. She can't fly well enough to be released to the wild, so that's why we have her. I think there's some confusion about velociraptors and raptors. Raptors are birds of prey. So it's a group of different birds that are predators and they're hunters and they have sharp hooked beaks and claw-like talons that allow them to hunt and eat other animals. So here at the Raptor Center, we consider hawks, falcons, eagles, owls, and vultures all to be raptors. So they lay eggs like dinosaurs? Yes, exactly. They lay eggs just like dinosaurs. Velociraptors are dinosaurs that were really small and fast that lived between 70 and 90 million years ago. And when paleontologists discovered their fossils for the first time in about the 1920s, they named them velociraptors, which that word actually translates to fast birds of prey, because anatomically or structurally, they're really similar to modern birds of prey, specifically that sharp hooked talon that velociraptors had in their hind foot. But velociraptors were always dinosaurs and raptors were always birds of prey. All birds have actually evolved from dinosaurs. So during the Cretaceous period, this is when most dinosaurs went extinct, there was a very small number of avian dinosaurs, basically bird-like dinosaurs of the theropod group of dinosaurs. So actually T-Rex was in this group, but only the small theropods survived into the almost 11,000 species of birds that we have on our planet today. Did they evolve from meat-eating dinosaurs? Yes, they did. Velociraptors were meat-eating predators like modern-day birds of prey. So he only eats meat. These birds only eat meat. They cannot process anything else. So they are only able to digest raw meat. No veggies. Bird after my own heart. Right. No veggies. They must be similar to dinosaurs in other ways then. Some dinosaurs supposedly had feathers. Yes. Velociraptors and theropods definitely had feathers, and they're starting to think that perhaps all dinosaurs had feathers, as a matter of fact, although none of them actually use them to fly. Like chickens. Exactly. Well, chickens can fly a little bit. Yeah, chickens can fly if they need to. Penguins. Like penguins, exactly. Yes, to keep them warm, but not really for the function of flight. 
So they have hollow bones like the Allosaurus. That's a very good question, yes. So really all flighted birds have hollow bones. So larger birds that don't fly and even smaller birds like penguins, birds that don't fly have fused bones that are filled with marrow and blood just like ours. But all birds that fly have hollow or pneumatic bones and their dinosaur ancestors did as well. So thanks so much for coming today. I hope you guys learned something new. We, we learned, learned so, much. so much. Thank you for having us. Thanks. Was that a rattlesnake? Or a burrowing owl? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Well, if we are, we're using your legs. My legs? It's not fair. Goodbye, thanks a lot. <laughs> I don't think that's one of ours. That's because we're not in T-Rex Ranch. Where are we? We're at the Harupa Mountains Discovery Center. I bet there's more dinos inside. Let's, Let's go, go to discover. discover. Hey, AJ, are you familiar with the legend of the Harupa Mountain Mammoth? No, oh, what is it? They say a mammoth named Eddie guards this very valley and brings luck to anyone who finds him. Should we go look? Yeah! Yeah, let's go! Dino challenge, which one? Oh, please, my ceratops. What's this one? Pterodactyl or Pteranodon. Looks like he had a rough night. <laughs> Dimetrodon. <laughs> Ankylosaurus! Pretty good. Taurosaurus, Triceratops, Pachyrhinosaurus. Impressed. Camelosaurus. Camelosaurus? That doesn't seem right. Sounds Greek. Not a Greek dinosaur. Hey, you know, AJ, if we're gonna look for Eddie, we need to know what to look for. Good point. Hmm. Maybe that guy will help us. Oh yeah, he looks smart. Let's go. Hi, I'm Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. Park Ranger Andy. Hello, I'm Dino Dave. Dino Dave? That's our kind of guy. Yeah. Welcome to the Harupa Mountains Discovery Center. Right now we're in front of our Earth Science Museum. Inside we have some fossils through time. You guys excited to see some fossils? Yeah! yeah. Well, let's go. Great. Whoa. Look at all this stuff. I don't know where to begin. I do. Follow me. So let's begin in the depths of our ocean. Here, on to your right, we have ammonites. They were these squids that lived inside these shells. Now they lived amongst, well, fish and other aquatic life, like you see here on our fish wall. Cool! Stuck in the Green River formation, within these sediment layers, we can uncover a lot of evidence of these living organisms. How do you find fossils? Well, you just gotta survey the land and dig throughout the sediment layers and be extra careful. Fossils are very fragile. So these are found on land where the oceans used to be? Either used to be or were pushed onto land. What, what's that? Well, that is a head of a fish that grew up 20 to 25 feet long. <gasps> Ain't the find that in a swimming pool. <gasps> Welcome to the Botanical Gardens. Good point. Now here we have the California Choya, also known as the jumping cactus. Whoa. Tell us about it. Well, these little barbs are so hooked at a microscopic level that even a tiny brush could just really hook into you. Okay. I'm gonna back away now. Oh, well, we guess we saw that cactus is, right? Good idea. And 
we have things that are more terrestrial, things that kind of like to walk their way onto land. Is that a turtle? That is. This is a protostega. It's kind of like an aquatic sea turtle, or an ancient kind, if you want to think of it that way. Kind of neat, huh? Yeah. Well, you can find all sorts of remains of living critters, like... Ooh, what's that? Oh, that there, that's dinosaur poop. Fossilized dino poop? Yes, fossilized poop. You know, you can find a lot of information about dinosaur poop. Usually the color in the fossilized poop can tell you if it's a protein diet or a plant diet. How do you tell that? Well, we know that meat's kind of red with iron. Well, if you look into the copper light here or the fossilized poop, you can see a little bit of red going on. So a lot of these are remains of carnivorous dinosaurs. How are fossils formed? When organic matter is buried and protected underneath the sediment layers, the minerals in the surrounding sediment kind of seep in with the help of water. So as the organic material leaves its body and gets recycled into the environment, the minerals take its place. What's this thing? Well, that kind of looks like a cluster of raptor and bone. Paleontologists have to dig out each digit and each bone very carefully in order to well, showcase it here in a museum. Cool. Yeah, here's protoceratops stuck within its matrix. We can lean on over to meat-eating dinosaurs, such an allosaurus, a three-claw predator. We're familiar. <laughs> this is cool. And this is our allosaurus. Oh, I don't see it. Well, you gotta dig for it. Dig, dig for, for it? it? Yes. Dig for it. Under this sand, we speculate there's an entire Allosaurus skeleton. We're gonna uncover it using these tools. Cool! Whoa, teeth! Whoa! Yeah, these teeth belong to an Allosaurus. Whoa, I think we found the head! As long as you keep pulling towards you, we can uncover large bodies of it. Did you find something, AJ? Yeah! Looks like we found some ribs over here. Oh, good, I'm starving. <laughs> Park Ranger AJ, what do you think this is? I don't know, maybe the hip? Come check it out. If this is the hip, there must be legs. I think you're right, Park Ranger AJ. You gotta I uncover it. Ranger AJ. Thanks, Park Ranger Andy. Oh, another oh. piece. There's a lot here. Another. Sure does look like an Allosaurus we know. Gotta be very gentle when you're getting this close, huh? Yeah. This is the most fun I've had in a long time. I love discovering things. Woo! Success! Success! Well, actually, we're only about 25% done here. 25%? What would be at least a quarter done? And leading out of the dinosaur era, we get the Pleistocene or the Ice Age era, the rise of mammals, like this cave bear, for example. And we have mastodons, or Columbian and woolly mammoths. Here is a tusk we found here in the Harupa Valley. Marvelous thing. Very splintery, but as you can see, still preserved within the cast mold in which it was dug. The Columbian mammoth, most notable here, is called Edward, and this is Edward's tusk. Now, Edward is a Columbian species, so he traveled all the way North America, all the way down here to the Harupa Valley. So they roam this very valley? Yes, and if you keep your eyes peeled, you might just see one here at the Discovery Center. Dave said if we look hard enough, we can find a mammoth. Well, then we gotta look harder! Yeah! Park Ranger AJ! Park Ranger AJ! Where is that kid? So, uh, what do you know about mammoths, AJ? Well, I know they're the ancestors of elephants, and they're two stories tall. 
And that's all I know. Yeah, it's good enough for now. What's that in the background? <gasps> Look! A mammoth! Is that the mammoth? <gasps> Let's go see! <sighs> we made it! There he is, Eddie the Colombian Mammoth! Awesome! For a pretty awesome day. You said it. Well, I guess this is the end. <laughs> no, this is the end. Arr, arr. <laughs> Name this one, Park Ranger. All right, you got me. Abraham Lincoln is so alright. Okay, Park Ranger AJ, what do you think the biggest animal that's ever lived on a planet is? Do you think it's like a giant monkey or some kind of enormous boot-tailed squirrel? Probably a dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Like which kind? Hmm. Maybe the Brachiosaurus? Could be. And that's what we're here today to find out. The biggest animal in the world? That's right. Why in the forest? This is not just any forest. This is the brrrr. The prehistoric forest. Well, that's convenient. I thought so. Let's go figure it out. Yep, the Stegosaurus. This dinosaur could be it. Yeah, he's pretty big. 30 feet long, 11,000 pounds. Ah, but I don't know. Still might be other contenders out there. Yeah. Sure. What was that? You talk dino? <gasps> it's pretty big. Parasaurolophus. <laughs> it can grow to be up to 33 feet long. That's three feet bigger than the other dino. Huh. So, so far, this is the winner. Yeah. You know, this is a member of the duck billed dino family. I wonder if he speaks duck. <laughs> Nothing. All right, I bet there's bigger ones out there. Let's go see. Chud! 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 What's that? Euplocephalus. Oh, yeah. Now, look, this is no bigger than the other dinos. But here's an interesting fact that these guys were so well protected that even the eyelids had on. Well, I guess he's getting some pretty good shut eye. Wish I had thought of that joke. Shut! Shut! Do you hear that? Shut! Yeah, I did. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What's Chad? I don't know. All right. Did you? Triceratops! Oh, yeah! Now we know these. We got a bunch of them at T Rex Ranch. Now they're not the biggest, but they're certainly the heaviest. And the cutest. Look at him. Oh, yeah, he's certainly not the biggest. Paleontologists say these guys were the cows of the Cretaceous period. The cows? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it! <laughs> he did it. Judge! Did you hear that? Did you? Yeah. Again. Maybe someone or something, something is trying to tell us something. Maybe Chad is what we're looking for. Maybe you're right. Well, let's keep looking. You didn't like the moo? Maybe you should have told the other joke. Tyrannosaurus Rex! The king of the dinos. 
this could be it. I mean, it gets to be 40 feet long and 20 feet high. It weighs as much as four pickup trucks. This could be Chad. Yes, no, Chad. Oh, not Chad, it's impossible. What is Chad? Where is Chad? Who is Chad? By hook and by crook, we're gonna go find out. Yeah. Excuse me, do you know what Chad is? Thanks anyway. Excuse me, miss. Do you know where Chad is? Thank you very much. This is Chad, a whale. That's the largest animal ever. Wow. Wait, but what about the Mesosaurus from Jurassic World? Well, it's not a dinosaur. That's a marine reptile. And I only grew up to be 50 feet long. Well, what about the Megalodon? Which is actually a shark. And that got up to be only 59 feet long. So this thing is twice as large. Holy cow. Yeah, I don't understand why it's so blue. Cheer up, you're so big. A hundred feet long! What? Wait a minute, it says he's got a hundred feet. I don't see any feet. He's a hundred feet long. Oh, well, that makes more sense. It says here its tongue can weigh as much as an elephant. Its tongue can weigh as much as an elephant? That's humongous, it's gonna be so heavy. So this is it? The biggest animal that's ever lived? And this is a small one, look. It's from a juvenile male. This is only 72 feet long compared to what it could be. It's not even fully grown. They got one thing right. This is astonishing in every way. Wow. Chad, you've been calling us. We're so happy to find the answer to the largest animal on Earth. Yeah. Wait a minute. It says one of the loudest animals on Earth. Huh. I bet I could be louder. louder, louder, louder. Park Ranger Andy, and quick, or I'm gonna be this dino's food. That's it, I should order me and Park Ranger AJ some food. He'll like that after a nice, uneventful, peaceful stroll around T-Rex Paddock's broken fence. Well, I hope I told him that the fence was broken. Man, I wish I'd known the T-Rex's fence was broken. Maybe he wandered back inside anyway. Well, there's only one way to find out. Seems quiet. Let's order some food. Hello, Rex and Burger. This is Park Ranger Andy. Yeah, I'd like to order a dino combo, a hatchling meal, and two mega stego mint chip shakes. As for the toys that come with the hatchling meal, you have the ammonite plushies, the ancient amoeba fidget spinner, the flying pteranodon, no, the raptor bone comb? Oh, I know Park Ranger AJ would love the T-Rex toy. You're out of that too? Well, what do you have? The fossil stress ball? Oh, the fossil stress ball, how lame. Fine, I'll take eight. Park Ranger AJ's having a better time than I am. Ah! Ah. Maybe I should've went out and checked the fence. Hard work sitting here thinking about food and not having any food. I'll this dino bar. I bet AJ's out having his nice leisurely 
afternoon nap. Well, I'm sitting here working hard, waiting for our lunch. Maybe I should call him. Okay, I'll be safe here as long as I'm super quiet. You okay? It sounds like you sprung a leak. I'm hiding. You are? I didn't know we were playing hide and seek. We're not. We have a hungry T-Rex. Well, he ain't the only one who's hungry, so I ordered you and me some food. The good news is, I got you a kid's meal. I'm about to become a kid's meal. But the bad news is, they were all on the T-Rex toy. Ah! I know, I know, buddy. I'm mad too. <laughs> Whoa, somebody's angry. Don't worry, it's coming. Oh, in fact, I think it's here. Oh boy, oh boy, food is here. I hope you're hungry. Hey, how are you? I got food for you. Thank you very much. You look familiar to me. Were you in Dino Rampage Street? No. I was thinking the same thing about you. Oh. Well, have a great day. I know I will. Now you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the food. I need a place to hide. Oh, there's no dinos! Well, that's not the place! There's dinos everywhere! Ah! They forgot the taro nuggets. Well, I guess I'll just have to order some more. You know, order a couple other things too, just in case AJ's home. go to waste or get cold. I should probably eat this until a fresh one arrives. Hmm. Hmm. I bet AJ's on his way right now. I'm never leaving this spot. Food's here again. Good. I'm starving again. Well, I guess I should go fetch my walk. Hey, that's it. Fetch. Okay, Dino. Go fetch! Wow, can't believe that actually worked. I wonder if he knows that fetch beans bring it back. Oh dear, he knows. I need to think. T-Rexes don't have very good eyesight and they hunt with their smell, so I could shove a stick up its nose. Or I could hide my scent. What? Is that Triceratops poop? Oh! Yeah! I don't know if this was such a good idea. Here goes nothing! I got my dino shake and my dino fries and AJ, I'm coming! AJ, I got the food! Oh, I really hope this works because I don't think I can stand any more dino poop on me. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Pteranodon. Well, if it was going to happen, today is definitely the day. Okay, let's see if this works. Did I hear Park Ranger Andy? 
making a meal for me at Park Ranger AJ. Park Ranger Andy, Park Ranger Andy, we've got to get out of here. Just a guy wanting to see it. Look, sorry about the toy, but. <gasps> it was a spell. Try to see our top two. Now, shh, stay close to me and the T-Rex won't know we're here. Rex's fence was broken. Oh yeah, that's on me. I didn't take my memory pills today. Why? I forgot. Give me eat, I'm starving. Hey, slow down, you're gonna get a headache in your stomach. Okay, but we only got about three more minutes until she comes back with the ball. Oh. Park Ranger AJ! There you are! Ha! I've been looking all over for you! And I've been looking for the missing Stegosaurus! Whoa! What happened to you? Oh, this! Well, see that Brachiosaurus down the way? Yeah. Well, he didn't see me before I knew it. Splat! He stepped on you? Yeah, but only for a few minutes. And you should see it. There's a park ranger Andy shaped hole in the ground. And thus ends another adventurous day at T-Rex Ranch. And the day just started. We haven't even eaten breakfast yet. Oh, good point. I'll fix that. Breakfast for two? Where did you get those? I gotta hand it to him. Oatmeal was the best decision for breakfast. Oh, I'm telling you, boy. Everybody loves oatmeal. Be careful, though, because it's hot. It better cool quick. I'm worried about that missing stego. Uh, well, you should worry more about your stomach growling than a stegosaurus. You should eat up. That wasn't me. I think that's your stomach growling, not mine. Wait, that's not the sound of a stomach growling. That's the sound of a sick dino. <gasps> the sound of a sick stegosaurus, to be exact. <gasps> Get a T-Rex one. Dino first aid kit, ready to go. Dr. Dino Doctor, at your service. Now, let's see what we got. Oh, 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 look, that's not it. You push that. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Stegosaurus mess. That is one big pill. For one big sick stegosaurus. Let's go. Sorry, the tools of a dino doctor are potentially very dangerous. We have to be quiet. Quiet? I could be quiet. I could be super quiet. In fact, I could be the most quiet. The, the Stegosaurus! Stegosaurus! It's coming from over there. From inside the raptor paddock. Hmm. That's uh, unfortunate. What do we do now? Well, you know the motto of a dino doctor through rain or sleet or snow, when duty calls, we must go. I think that's the milk. Uh, agree to disagree. Let's go. Coast is clear. Shh, quiet back there. Shh, quiet back there. What did we do? To be honest. That's it! Run! 
There she is! She looks so sick! How are we gonna get her to eat this giant pill? No sweat. It is gonna be smooth sailing from here on out. Uh, okay, I was wrong. We're in trouble. It's so is that Stegosaurus if the T Rex doesn't move. What do we do? Not today, Mr. T Rex. We're only here to help our sick Stega friend, and you're making our job very difficult. Now, if you don't mind, please stand up time so we can do our job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, can't believe that works. Huh. Me neither. I thought for sure you we were gonna end up in that T-Rex's gullet. Let's go get that dino her mess. Indubitably. How are you gonna get her to eat it? A little demonstration. Watch. Okay. Yep. You sick ah! Eat! Yum, 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 yum. Feel better! Frolic away! I don't think she's buying it. Huh. Yeah. I mean, nobody likes to taste the medicine. But you know what everybody does love? <gasps> Oatmeal! Where are you keeping them? Oh. Okay. You're gonna like this better. I promise. Okay. Enjoy. Not uh, yet. Watch this. Little slingshot action. Nice shot. She's eating it. But she's feeling better already. Yeah. Let's take a couple steps back and give her some space. Yeah, she might be uh, feeling too good. Come on. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Oh. Oh. That looks like it hurt. Are you okay? Ah, well, you get used to it. Thus ends another adventurous day at T Rex Ranch. What do you mean, that? We haven't even had our breakfast yet. Hmm. I think I can fix that. <gasps> Where'd you get those? What are we doing here, Park Ranger Andy? This isn't T-Rex Ranch. You're right, Park Ranger AJ, it's not. But it's similar. This is Reptacular Ranch, where instead of seeing dinosaurs, we're gonna see snakes. Yes! Reptiles! Cool. And tarantulas! And camels! Wait, are camels even reptiles? I don't know. Hey, what do you think's in a camel's hump? Coffee? I don't know. Let's go find out. Yes! <laughs> Wow, this place is amazing! Magical. Do you think there's dinosaurs in those hills? You never know, Park Ranger AJ. You never know. Hi, I'm Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. And I'm Park Ranger Andy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Diego. I'm an animal keeper here at Reptacular Ranch. Thank you guys for joining us today. We're so excited to be here. So, what animals are we going to be seeing today? So, today you guys will be seeing a red tegu. Uh, Asian water monitor, some California desert tortoises. Uh, you guys will be seeing a tarantula, Ugh. a couple of snakes, and I hear you guys are gonna be meeting Kirby the camel. The highlight of my day! Are we gonna see any dinosaurs? So, unfortunately, dinosaurs went extinct a long time ago, but we are gonna get to meet some other descendants. So, come on, I'll show you guys around. Great! Thanks. Super exciting! Oh, water crossing! Uh, guys, there is a bridge. We're on an, an adventure! adventure! All right, Rangers, you guys ready to meet your first animal? Sure! sure. This is the home of Aang, the Asian water monitor. He's a pretty cool lizard. So, without further ado. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah. Usually it does get that reaction. These guys originate in Southeast Asia. They, in nature, are carnivores out in the wild. But in captivity, this guy eats mice, rats, dog food, and veggies. Sounds like you. Eat anything. True to his name, 
They are excellent swimmers. Does love water. And they also have a very long tongue that allows them to sense the world around them. So, do you guys want to take them out for a walk? Yes! You could do that? Of course. Let's get a harness on him and we'll go out for a walk. Let's go! Nice day for a walk. Yeah, with our lizard buddy. Yeah, enjoying it outside? I think that means yes. What kind of dinosaur do you think that looks like? Looks kind of like a Dimetrodon. You're right. The Dimetrodon's tongue is not that long. True. Where do you think he's going now? I think back. All right, maybe we should see some other animals. Yeah. Let's take him back. This is Red Bull, the Red Tegu. Can I hold him? Of course. All right, here you go. So, Red Tegus originate from Argentina. They are arboreal. He does have short stubby legs because of that. Arboreal, of course, means that they like to live on trees and climb on trees and hang out on trees. Red Tegus are a very popular pet in South America and they are very loyal and gentle. Red Bull here is a male, and the way to tell that a male is a male is because of his cheeks. He does have really puffy cheeks, and he is in fact shedding. It's a common thing among reptiles. How long does it take? It usually takes anywhere from a few days to about two weeks. You guys came in at the tail end of it. <laughs> he is almost done. His skin has been replaced but he does still have some signs that it was happening. How old is he? This guy is about 13 years old, give or take. You're a big guy, aren't you? Older than you. Whoa. But you're gonna look like a 13. Can I hold him? Yeah. Oh, come here, little guy. Yeah. Oh. What are we doing? We're just done for the day? Huh? Just gonna relax? It is lunchtime. Whoa, what animal is that? So this is a Euromastix or a spiky tail lizard. These guys originate from the Middle East. This guy is one of the few animals on this planet that does not need any water. Like, like a, a camel. camel! Well, a camel does still need water. But this guy gets all his hydration from the bugs that he eats. And these guys are also great weather predictors. So, as you guys can see right now, what color would you say that he is? Brown. Right. Fuchsia. He is gray dull. But as summer comes around and as the weather starts to heat up, he will turn very orange. And as fall rolls around after that, he does turn more yellow. Because it gets colder. How'd you know that? And of course, there is his namesake, his main weapon, his spiky tail. They like to defend themselves from much bigger lizards. You're so cool. <laughs> Speak. No, that's a hole. Oh. Right. Yeah. This is a snake. Cool! What kind of snake is that? So this is Chris, our red tail boa. Hi, Tree. And she's doing exactly what her body was made to do. She's holding on to my body as though it were a tree. These guys are pretty good at climbing. She uh, might start climbing you if you're okay with that. She likes you. Uh, uh, why do I get the oh. part with the head? <laughs> so you're gonna notice she's gonna hold on tight to you, like I said, and she's just pretending your bodies are trees. They're pretty good at holding on. You're gonna feel her muscle curling up around you. I sure um, do. <laughs> Snakes have something called the Jacobson's organ on the roof of their mouth. And that's why they're continuously taking their tongues out to kind of smell their environment. You're also going to notice she's really loving your bodies. You guys are mammals. You're warm-blooded. She doesn't have that privilege and she's cold-blooded. So she is dependent on her environment temperature. But you guys are nice and warm, so she's going to hold on very, very tight. She likes selfies? She loves selfies. She's pretty good at it. They do a scared one. <laughs> Yay! So 
So this is Marley, and Marley's are all Bino Burmese Python. Uh, pretty young. Uh, these guys can get to be over 200 pounds and over 20 feet. Um, so obviously, it's just me holding. He doesn't have any feet. I know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you guys want to hold? Yeah. Oh, we do? <laughs> Again? Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. Marley, look at that tongue. Look at those eyes. Bye, Marley. Oh, that was so fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> what do you want to do next? Oh, how about the tarantula? Uh, what about the turtles? All right, let's go see the turtles. Yeah. <laughs> turtles! Oh, no. Actually, they're tortoises. Meet Leonardo and Michael. What's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Uh, turtles are aquatic, tortoises aren't. So you're looking at California desert tortoises. So do they like the heat? They love the heat, yeah. Uh, not too, too hot. It has to be kind of just right. When it gets too, too hot, then they'll go underneath the ground into their little burrows uh, to make sure they escape that heat. Because remember, these guys are cold blooded. They can't keep their own body temperature like these animals. Whoa. You know, speaking of desert creatures. I think we're ready to see Herbie. Perfect, follow me. How are you doing, Herbie? Oh, this is softer. We're gonna give him the proper camel greeting. You can't really shake his hand. Um, you know, you don't you typically do this like you greet a dog, right? But if you blow into their nose, he'll blow right back at you. Everything I imagine. It feels so soft. I would love a pillow out of this. <laughs> get in there, I'll get a picture with you. Give me a profile, like him. Hey, Herbie. Hey, Herbie. Smile. What's in the hump? Oh, thank you for asking. Um, it's not water, because everyone thinks it's water, but it's actually not. Now look at those lips. They're uh, prehensile <laughs> lips, kind of grabbing on to all of those trees. Thank you. You're Bye. very welcome. Bye. Bye, Herbie. What a nice camel. <laughs> so this is Ursula, and Ursula is a Chilean rose hair tarantula. <laughs> Hi, Ursula. <laughs> Just like the name says it, she's from Chile. She's South American. When do you think we should run? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Don't let this deceive you. She can be fast, but she knows that we're not going to hurt her. Now she has about eight eyes and you think with so many eyes she could see really well, but she can't. So their bodies are covered in hair. That's how they sense their environment. So whether it's vibration in the air, vibration on the ground, she's able to sense all of that. Does it have fangs? She does. Let me show you what that looks like. You see all arachnids have venom. It just depends on the potency, of course. Now look, you can see it right there. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So they need that toxic or that venom in order to kind of liquefy whatever they're eating. See, they don't have teeth like we do. Think of it like a bug slurp. So they kind of melt it in their mouth. Exactly. So they kind of slurp that melted juicy bug. Hey, good job, yeah. Park Ranger AJ. Um, so Park these guys Ranger. are herbivores. So depending on the species of tarantula, they might eat bugs, they might eat frogs or snakes, smaller mammals. So luckily here, we just feed her a good balanced diet of cockroaches and crickets. Hmm, delicious. <laughs> yeah. Now, because the interaction is limited, and I know we don't just want to look at her, right? Yeah. We don't? I need a brave volunteer victim. <laughs> Can I uh, put Ursula on top of your head? She's pretty good at posing. Ah! 
that wasn't so bad. Do you want to do it again? No. That was fun. Yeah, that was one of the best days of my life. That tarantula wasn't that bad. Uh, do you want to do it again? <laughs> no, I don't want to do it again. Well, but we should get back to T-Rex Ranch. Yeah, we've got to feed the dinos. Right, we do. And feed ourselves. That's pretty hungry. I like this idea, Park Ranger AJ. I like this idea. But we better find her before someone else does, or they'll know that dinos still exist. Oh, maybe she wasn't there. Oh yeah, maybe. It's so dark in here, I can't see anything. Where'd she go? We should split up. You go that way, and I'll head this way. If you find her, you might need this. Yeah, what is it? Magnifying glass? Binoculars? Leash? Wait. It's your favorite snack. It is? Yeah. Can't see why, but okay. But I left you over there. It's a loop. A loop? Yeah, it just goes around and around. It all connects. All right, that makes sense. But where in the wide world of dino fossils are we? That's what I'm thinking. Hi, welcome to the Alk Museum of Paleontology. I'm Gabe, a paleontologist. Do you want me to show you around? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We want to look around with no ulterior motives whatsoever. All right, cool. So, here at the ALF Museum, we talk about the great story of life on Earth. And that story is set into many different chapters. Here in the Precambrian, life wasn't as great. It wasn't a great environment for things to appear. But during this chapter in the Paleozoic, that's when we had the big explosion of life on Earth. And some of the first characters to appear in that story are things like this. This is Isotelus rex, and it is the most complete trilobite ever discovered by scientists. Over here, we have Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon might look like a dinosaur, but it's not. It is actually an ancient distant relative of mammals like us. Dimetrodon's not a dinosaur. Would we have a T-Rex ranch? Shh. Did you hear that? I think so. Oh, uh, that's me clicking my, my pen. <laughs> he does that. Uh, shall we move on? Sneaker. My lamps are wide open. <gasps> wow, the age of the dinosaur. And speaking of dinosaurs, we have one right here. This is Gryposaurus. Gryposaurus is a holotype. A holotype is the first of its kind ever described by science. This one is about 75 million years old and it was found in Utah. And here's a baby Parasaurolophus. <laughs> Baby Parasaurolophus! <laughs> I haven't seen a baby Parasaurolophus. Have you seen a baby Parasaurolophus? No, never in my life. Why would you ask? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm talking about Joe, our complete baby Parasaurolophus fossil. Oh, right. That Parasaurolophus. That makes more sense. Yeah. yeah, well, Joe's really cool because Joe's crest is actually part of its nose. When it blows air through its nose, it makes a sound like a trumpet. Interesting. Okay, well, how about we check out more dinosaurs? Sure! And this here is the Tyrannosaurus rex. Its name means Tyrant Lizard King, and it was the apex predator 65 million years ago. What's really cool is that they regrew their teeth through their whole life, so they always had sharp teeth. We are very familiar with the T-Rex. Okay, well, do you want to check out my favorite era at the Cenozoic? I'd sure, to look at not? here. All right, come on. Any baby Parasaurolophus is hiding in here? Uh-huh. 
not unless they're invisible. And over here are one of my favorite fossils. This is a bronothir. Bronothir means thunder beast, and they might look like rhinos, but they're actually a close relative. Instead of a horn like rhinos have, they have these bony plates on their nose. Pretty interesting. Um, they're kind of herbivore, but do you want to see a Cenozoic carnivore? Sure. Uh -huh. All right, let's head that way. Okay. Whoa, a giant alligator! Yeah, this is Porosaurus. It's a giant crocodile that existed in Brazil about 7 million years ago. And what's really cool about it is, is, is that they had these sharp teeth that they regrew through their whole life. Andy, cut it out! Not a good time! Uh... Uh... uh you might yeah, have to yeah, a museum on our own. It's very really interesting, but we'd like to go check out some yeah. stuff on our own. Thank you so much! Yeah. Of... Whoa, look at all these exhibits! Oh, man, if there's a place for her to sneak around, this is a good place to do it. Yeah. A lot of places for, to hide. Good for her. Bad for us. Oh, that's true. Okay. Here, baby dino! Here, baby dino! Baby, baby! If I was a big parasaurologist, where would I be? It's only a skeleton of a bear dog. They're nearly seven feet long with sharp wolf-like teeth. They're carnivores and they have a bear-shaped body and claws. Well, that's very terrifying. Did you hear that? Yeah, I think that's our baby dino. Came from over there. I'll go first. Go ahead. In a dino pig. What a mess! Someone or some dino has been rummaging through here. Oh, we're never gonna find her! Parker and Randy, let's think about this. How do you catch a dinosaur named Sneaka? By being sneakier than Sneaka is. Right you are, Parker and Andy. And what did we just learn about Parasaurolophus? Their crests are actually long noses capable of making different sounds depending on how they're shaped. So what if instead of chasing her, we called Sneaka to us? By using the noise that she would make. Exactly! <laughs> no, 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 not you using the Paris or all of his sound boxes. I mean, I guess we could do that too. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> One, two, three! Not there. Do it again. One, two, three! Look! Yeah! Oh! Here! Yeah! Oh, here you go, Sneaker! Here you go! Sneak up on and have some of this delicious stick! Do you have any questions about our Parasaurolophus soundbox? Uh, I don't think so. Seems to work perfectly as intended. Why <laughs> that'll get you a bigger stick? Okay, let's see here. Flashlight. Check. Whoopee cushion. Check. Donuts. Check. Of course. Dino remote control. Andy, did you bring the dino remote control? Yeah, I'm sure I brought it. No, I think you should go back to the RV and check. Fine. We may need it. Making Andy mad. Check. 
Get some sort of donut drink anyway. Donut drink, sure. But don't forget the Dino Remote Control! Donut drink? Get my Dino drink and AJ's Dino Remote Control. What are you coming here for? Dino Remote Control! Alright! Dino Remote Control. Dino Remote. Let's see. <laughs> That's not it, but we could use it. Ooh. Extra, just in case. Dino Remote. Dino Remote. Dino Remote, where would I be? Dino Remote, that is not you. Donut drink. Dino dinner. <laughs> More like Andy's lunch. <coughs> ah, that's delicious. <coughs> mm. Back to work. Dino remote. I got the dino remote. <laughs> Look what I found! Your dino remote that we're probably not gonna use. Let's go. Uh, you're looking a little green there, Park Ranger. Are you feeling okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm not sure about that donut drink. Donut drink? Park Ranger Andy, that was Dino DNA! Dino DNA what? Dino DNA! One sip will turn you into a dinosaur! How much did you drink? Uh, the whole beaker? The whole thing? Why would you even drink anything from a beaker? I was parched from all those donuts! I was afraid of that. The Dino Reversal Serum is our only hope. If you don't drink the serum in the next five minutes, you'll stay a dino forever. Well, well, we better go. Stay right here. I'm going to be right back with the serum. The serum! Okay, the serum, the serum. If I was serum, where would I be? Yeah, I don't know. I know it's you. Your emergency donut. 
I know you love them. Go get them, Andiosaurus! Oh, that was the last of the dinosaur DNA reversal serum. Think, think, what would Park Ranger Andy do? Well, if he wasn't a dinosaur. He would use this. I've got an idea. What wouldn't he use? The dino remote control. Now, where was it? <laughs> Look what I found. Your dino remote that we're probably not going to use. Let's go. That's it. If I can make it back to the T-Rex 1, I can grab the remote control and use it to rewind Andiosaurus back to before he drank the dinosaur DNA. There he is. Hope he doesn't see me. Mystery drinks. Okay, okay, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh. Wow. It's a good thing we caught it before it turned into a dinosaur. Yeah, definitely a good thing. You know, Park Ranger, we learned a valuable lesson today. Always be prepared. And let this be another Park Ranger lesson. Never drink mysterious liquids out of mysterious containers. You said it. Lesson learned. You know, we never tested that serum before. I'm glad it worked. Oh yeah, it worked perfectly. Just a few more feet. We can go back inside once we try my new gadget. Uh, I feel like a vampire. Oh. I proudly present my latest invention, the Veggie Fixer 6000. Uh, that's not the invention we need. We, we need a fan or an air conditioner or a fan with an air conditioner on it or an air conditioner with a fan in it that blows cold air to an air conditioned fan. Actually, we do need it, because now raptors will only eat fried chicken. Yeah, ever since they stole our fried chicken from our last picnic. Can't really blame them, though. True, but it's not very good for you, which is why you use the veggie fixer to make them healthy again. Demonstrate. First, you grab your broccoli, place it into here, turn the knob, and then press the button. Voila! Fried chicken! Well, how be? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Smells like broccoli! Well, it looks like fried chicken, which means the raptor will eat it before they knew they had a healthy meal. Uh, even I wouldn't fall for that, and I have the world's record for gullibility. Well, at least that's what they tell me. Ashley, uh, I think you should go back to Dino HQ and watch the baby dinos. I can finish this on my own. Good plan. I am most helpful when I'm not around to help. See you later. Hmm. It 
does smell like broccoli. Oh, it's so hot out there. If it gets any hotter, I'm gonna scream. 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 No, I scream. What a brilliant idea. I scream. Let's see. Oh, nothing better on a hot day than a good old fashioned bowl of ice cream. Ooh, looks delicious. <laughs> oh, hi, Sneaker. You want some ice cream too? I'm not sure I should give a baby dino ice cream. What would Park Ranger Asher say? Don't give baby dinos ice cream. Yeah, I don't like that answer either. Let me try to imagine it again. Go ahead, give the baby dino ice cream. Eh, that's much better. Hey, that's not what it said. Uh, no time to argue, gotta go ice cream melting. <laughs> okay, Sneaker, let me get you some ice cream. Raptor's approaching the food. He's taking it. No, he's not. He's smelling something else. And he's running away. Gosh, something else caught his attention. I wonder what. This is a scoop of ice cream. Delicious. Refreshing. <gasps> I'm coming, I'm coming. Almost done. Put the lid on, and put the ice cream back in the freezer. Here we go, a nice bowl of ice cream. Hey, who ate the ice cream? Did you eat the ice cream? No, oh, you couldn't get up there. Huh, is it possible I ate it and I don't remember? Seems possible to me. Hmm. Well, if I ate it and I don't remember, then it doesn't count. Time for more ice cream. Here we go, here we go, here we go! And there we went. Oh, 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 look at this. This is a scoop of ice cream. Delicious. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I hope I remember eating it this time. Woo hoo! Perfect. Put a little spoon in and, you know, could really use some sprinkles. No. Why don't I carry sprinkles on me? All right, next time, I'll put that on the list. <laughs> and... What the? Now I know I did not eat that bowl of ice cream. Right? Hey, did you eat the ice cream in that bowl? How? I'm in your imagination. Hey, I'm not accusing, I'm just asking. Just get more ice cream. That's the best idea you had all day. At least you're not trying to talk me into eating that broccoli fried chicken like you are those raptors. No, there's no signs of raptors at all. Maybe Park Ranger Andy was right. Maybe it's not too hot to do it today. Where could they possibly be going? <laughs> now I specifically remember not eating that one. We have an ice cream eater around here somewhere. <sighs> Who is eating all of my ice cream? <sighs> Can I sneak? Can I you? Your back so soon. Yeah, the raptors wouldn't eat any of my broccoli fried chicken. 
How? Because it's so hot. It is. But is it hot enough to steal a baby dino's ice cream? What are you talking about? Let me smell your breath. Does it smell like ice cream? That's because I didn't have any. Does it make sense? Look, I come over here and I take an empty bowl and I bring the empty bowl to the freezer and I take out the ice cream, put the ice cream down on the counter and I take the ice cream scoop and I scoop us some ice cream. Ooh, look at that ice cream. I don't lick the spoon, even though I really want to. Fill up the bowl and then put the lid back on the ice cream and I put it back. And now I have my delicious bowl of ice cream and I walk it over to the table and look, the ice cream's gone. What? It's just gone like that? It's just like that. Who is stealing all our ice cream? I'm not so sure. That means we have to solve this problem scientifically. Does that involve eating ice cream? No, but it does include bait and observing, just like I did with the raptors and my Veggie Fixer 6000. That's not as fun as eating ice cream. Well, first of all, we need more ice cream. Way ahead of you. Hey, ice cream service. That's your service. Hey, hey, thanks a lot, my friend. Good to see ya. You think that's safe? Getting a delivery guy to a secret ranch? Did you see that guy's face? Look trustworthy to me. If you say so. Now, for step one, set the trap. Step two, hide and watch. Mm, I would love a nice cream sundae. Huh, but today's Friday. So? So if you want ice cream Sunday, you gotta wait two more days. How about we just observe in silence? <laughs> it's an ice cream asaurus! That's why they're not eating from my invention, because you stuffed them with ice cream. And they didn't even thank me. How many of them you think there are? Let's look. Let's go. Ah! 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 That's a lot of ice cream of sources. Maybe we should just give them ice cream. Maybe you're right. But now we're out of ice cream. Way ahead of ya. Ice cream delivery. Five minutes or it's free. Here you go. Thank you. My pleasure. And by the way, you got a lot of raptors out here. Uh, you trust that delivery guy? He looks honest to me. Now, how about some ice cream? Here you go. <laughs> Are you sure it's okay to get baby dinos ice cream? Well, if it's okay for raptors, then it's probably okay for a baby pair of sorophis. Eat up. That's it. I'll use the Veggie Fixer 6000, but change broccoli into ice cream. I knew you'd figure it out. Now can we please eat our ice cream? I've been waiting for this all day. Sure, I'm excited for ice cream too. Hey, what about me? Yeah, what about him? And get me some too, please. Jurassic World, the ride. I hear it's a calm and uneventful cruise through the park. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Here we are, Park Ranger AJ, Universal Studios, Hollywood. I'm so excited. You should be. We're going to meet some new dinosaurs and some talented dino trainers, and we're going to go on Jurassic World, the ride. And Jurassic World, the gift shop? Sure, why not? We've earned it. What could possibly go wrong? So let's go! Okay, Park Ranger AJ, if we're gonna see dinosaurs in this park, this is probably the place to do it. Yeah. Let's see. 
We were right. Ladies you want to go meet some friends? Come on. Come on, Julia. Hold on, come to me. Let's go meet some friends. You ready? We gotta eat something. Come on over. How are you? Oh, Juliet says hello. Here, come on over here, guys. Hey, pal. Juliet, hold. I'm Eddie. This is Juliet. Eddie, I'm Park Ranger Andy. Andy. And this is Park Ranger AJ. Park nice Ranger Andy, you. Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. You guys wanna say hello to Juliet? We our would triceratops? love to. Yeah. Awesome. So the way we say hello to a triceratops, we bend it the way so we say, Hello, Juliet. Hello, Juliet. Oh, Park Ranger Andy, Park Ranger AJ, she's so happy to meet you guys. That's so cool. I'm happy to meet you too. Well, how old do you think she is? One year. One year old, that's, that's a great guess. What about you, Park Ranger Andy? 65 million years. 65 million years. You're absolutely right. That's when Triceratops used to exist. But Juliet is only two years old. <laughs> a little baby. She weighs just about 2,000 pounds about 20 feet in length. She'll grow to be about two to three times this size. But because she's so young, she's incredibly interactive. That's how she communicates with us. 2,000 pounds just eating plants. So one of the first things we do to communicate, we do a toe tap. So we take our toe and we tap it out in front of us. Can I see you guys do that? And then she mimics our move to show us that she's communicating. Her favorite is called happy feet. That's where we stomp our feet, just like we're marching in place. So you keep them going, keep them going, keep them going. Happy feet. Oh, she's watching, she's excited. Right, Juliet? <laughs> oh, look at her doing happy feet. Oh, she says thank you for playing. Look at how she's doing it back. Oh, awesome job, guys. Say thank you, Juliet. Thank, thank you, you, Juliet. Juliet. So you're fantastic. Do you also train T-Rexes? T-Rexes? No, those are those are a little bigger and scarier for me. Why? Uh, no reason. I was wondering. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't think I would try to train a T-Rex. Okay. <laughs> so you guys are from T-Rex Ranch. What do you guys do there? It's an animal sanctuary. With all kinds of uh, special animals. Do you guys like a Triceratops hug? Uh, yeah. So all you have to do is come right up to her tail and give her a little pet and she'll give you a tail hug. She's already excited. <laughs> oh yeah, you got her. So you guys should say, bye, Juliet. Bye, Juliet. Oh, she loves you guys. Come hang out anytime. We're gonna go enjoy the park. Have fun. Yeah. Let's go, Juliet, come on. Eyes on me, girl. See you guys later. Eyes on me, Juliet. Eyes on me, come on. Come on. It's a wide turn. That Triceratops, you gotta watch out for the Triceratops bottom. <laughs> hey, Park Ranger Andy, I've got a joke for you. Oh, hit me. What do you call a dinosaur that never gives up? I don't know. What do you call a dinosaur that never gives up? A try, try, try Triceratops. I don't get it. Well, let's go try to find some more dinosaurs. That I get. Let's go. Oh boy, a raptor encounter. I bet we're gonna see a giant raptor in there. Yeah! Oh, I pictured. Hey guys. Hello! Now this is not what we expected. We expected a giant raptor, but this is a little baby? Yeah, this is Tango. We, we do have a bigger raptor, but she's kind of in a bad mood right now. Her name is Blue. We're gonna keep her in the paddock for the, the time being. We understand. <laughs> can Good. we pet Tango? Uh, can you pet Tango? Uh, yes, you can, but you can always pet from the chair. She's only six months old. She's a little baby. <laughs> Are they easy to train? Uh, the Velociraptors are one of the easier ones to train just because they're smarter, yeah. You're a smart little girl, aren't ya? Oh. Are you camera shy? No, I'm gonna smile! Hey, you're, uh, you look good on camera, huh? Right, three, two, one, cheese! Yeah, we 
should take her out. We have a little ranch that she might enjoy running around someday. Oh, really? Yeah. You have a ranch yourself, huh? Yeah, it's just a plain ranch with, you know, no dinosaurs on it or anything weird like that. You just sure? Just a nice big open space, yeah. It's called yeah. T-Rex Ranch? T-Rex Ranch. I mean, that's what I see on your hat, at least. Yeah. So does she ever ride the rides? <laughs> Our dinosaurs don't ride the rides, but they are part of the ride. If you want to learn more about the dinosaurs and get through our park in a really cool river fashion, uh, the ride's right over there. Oh, yeah. What do you think, AJ? Should we do it? Yeah. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for being <laughs> us. Say thank you. Good girl. Good girl. Jurassic World The Ride. I hear it's a calm and uneventful cruise through the park, which is exactly what you and me need on our day off. A little peace and quiet. Huh, uneventful. Are you sure about that? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's go relax. Relax. Nice, peaceful car. This is just what we need, a nice little peaceful cruise. In the age of the dinosaurs, a vast ocean is home to an explosion of life. I didn't know it could be talking! Oh. 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 Let's never go on a boat ride again! That was so much fun! Yeah, I wasn't afraid at all! Attention of heart people. Do not be alarmed, there is a raptor loose. Blue the raptor has gotten out of her paddock. A raptor loose? Maybe we should help, we know about raptors. We can save the day. We can save the day. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, park ranger AJ, in order to find this raptor, we need to think like a dinosaur. We gotta use our senses. That's right, which senses? Sight. Sight, that's right. We gotta keep our eyes peeled because raptors like to hide in the shadow. Smell. Oh, that's right, because raptors are attracted to strong smell. Sound. Oh, sound, because the clickety clack of raptors' claws are unmistakable. And so is the sound of someone who's just seen a raptor. Yeah. Let's go. Just missed her. Where are we? New York. How can you be so sure? Smell that? Best pizza in the world. Sounds like we gotta go that way. Can I at least get a slice first? I feel like we're not in New York anymore. Hey, I think you're right. Look, we got bistros and cafes, which means we're in Paris. That's right, Paris. Ha 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 ha. Which means croissants. <laughs> Park Ranger, focus, okay? Focus. We gotta find that raptor. Right, right, right. Focus, focus, raptor. Hey, that reminds me. How would you invite a dinosaur to a cafe? I don't know. How? T Rex? <laughs> Get it? T Rex? That scream came from nearby. Oh, there Let's it is go. over there. Hey, uh, wait a minute, Park Ranger AJ. This ride seems kind of slow and boring. It's not a ride, it's an escalator. Oh. Park Ranger Andy, Park Ranger AJ, we've located Blue. She's down by the Jurassic Cafe. Come join us. We need your help. They found him. Let's go. Easy. Eyes on me, girl. Hold. Oh, Park Ranger, thank goodness you're here. We need to help. Let me contain her. Speak to her very calmly. Say good, easy, Blue. Easy blue. Think it easy blue. More calm, more calm. Say eyes on me. Eyes on me. Come around oh, this way. You never want to flank her. She might get it. Easy. easy girl, easy. Hold. Eyes on me. Take it easy. All right. I need you guys' help. So one of the ways we try to calm her down 
We're going to make sure that she's using all of her senses to ascertain that you are not a threat. You can hold out your hand very gently and slowly. Can you give her a chance to smell you? I'm not a threat! But yes, a seraph can smell about eight to ten times better than us. So this is going to be a great way for her to ascertain that you're not a threat. Do not move. Hey, hey, hey. Raise your hands higher in the air. Open and close your fist. See if this works. And then say, speak, Blue, really loud. Speak, Blue! Good yeah. job. Good, Blue. You guys should be trainers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, can, we can do that. Before we go get some food, can we take a selfie? Well, Park Ranger AJ, chasing down that cranky raptor sure was fun, but I am ready to get back to T-Rex Ranch where things are just, you know, a little bit calmer. You said it. Who said? That? I don't know, but I think we should get out of here. Let's go. Park Ranger Andy, you out here? I need to borrow a dino gadget. Hello? That was a close one. Hey, hello there, Park Ranger AJ. Sorry about that uh, terrifying pterodon encounter. It's okay. I'm sad I didn't turn into a Tyranodon takeout. What are you doing anyway? Oh, I'm trying to win the bet we made. Remember you said I couldn't train a dinosaur to do a trick? But if I did, that you would do my chores for a week? Oh, I remember. And I'm not worried. But speaking of chores, have you seen the task matic Oh, yeah. It's right here in the T-Rex 1. My new favorite gadget. Great. I'm going to use it on the mini fridge back at Dino HQ. Hasn't been cleaned in weeks, and I'm pretty sure I heard something knocking on the inside. Yeah, just be careful with this. This task matic doesn't work exactly as you want. Thanks for the tip. And good luck winning that bet. You're going to need it. Luck. I need no luck. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, you ready? And catch! Right, try it again. And catch! Ugh. Ugh. Okay. It's been a while since I cleaned this thing. Just gotta prepare myself. What could be in there? Expired milk, a couple of smelly eggs. You know what? I bet it won't be that bad. Oh, I forgot about the tuna sandwich. Why would I do that? All right, all I gotta do is press this button and tell the task matic what I want it to do, and it should take care of the rest. task matic please clean the mini fridge. Wow. Wait, but you made all the food inside disappear. I wanted a Triceratops. Okay, 57th time's a charm. Hey, Park Ranger Andy, you were right about this task i adding. It only kind of did what I asked. See, I tried to tell you. <laughs> no, no way, come back! Okay, I'll come back. No, not you. Stand by. I mean, he's right. Yeah, I can't teach Dino a trick. That means... I'm gonna lose the bet. I'm gonna have to do all his chores. Unless all his chores are already done. So there's no more chores left to do. Hey, you still there? Oh, oh yeah, I'm here. Hey, buddy, uh, we need to double check that Tascomatic and see why it doesn't work quite right. You know, maybe we should try it on a couple of chores, a couple of tasks. Like what? Well, we have this is to do. We gotta untangle the fishing pole. You know what? I think I'll give you a list. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Park Ranger AJ, over and out. Perfect, I believe in you. Okay, now, back to the matter at hand. So I could still win this bet. Now, 
Even though I can't teach a pterodon how to catch a fish, <gasps> maybe I could teach a different dinosaur a different trick. Yes! Let's try this one. Taskomatic, please make a pot of coffee. Oh. Well, it's not not what I said. <sighs> okay, Rexy, go long. All right, all right, good effort. You want to try it again? Okay, okay, I hear you loud and clear. Taskomatic, please make these pictures look even. Hmm, you know what? I like it. Limbo! How low can I go? Ah! See? Piece of cake! Now you try! Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, you're doing it! Go, Limbo! Oh. Okay. Taskomatic. Please solve Andy's Rubik's Cube so everyone will think he's smart. Okay, fine. Be that way. I'll do it. No sweat. Okay, Toppy. And catch! from home. Okay, looks like there's only one task left. Clean up the dino poop. Huh? What dino poop? Oh, come on, dinos. Okay, gotta be as specific as possible. Taskomatic, please clean up the dinosaur poop from my left shoe. Wow! Nice work, Taskomatic! <laughs> okay, let's do a real easy one. Roll over. <laughs> well, I knew that was a long shot. Looks like I'm gonna lose this bet to AJ. I better check up on my backup plan. Hey, Park Ranger AJ! I'm just checking in on the Taskomatic. Seeing how it took care of all the chores. I mean, tasks. It took a few tries, but I think I figured it out. I finished your whole list. No. Oh, well, it turns out that I'm not really able to teach a dino a trick, so I guess I lost a bet and I have to do all your chores. But it sounds like all your chores are already done. Aww. So, if you can't teach a dino to do a trick, I might know someone else who can. Oh, yeah? Who? Oh. Ranger AJ? Yeah? What are we looking for? You'll see. Any teeny tiny dinos want to learn a cool new trick? A Patinosaurus! <sighs> okay, Tesco Matic. Please tell this. Wait! You have to be as specific as possible, otherwise, there's no telling what could happen. All right, good point. Okay, Tesco Matic. Please teach this Patinosaurus how to speak when I say speak. I mean, I don't mean human English, I mean like dinosaur speak. Like, it can make whatever noise it wants. I, I can't believe it. The Tascomatic could speak dinosaur. I mean, this is a huge breakthrough in human dino communications. Think of the possibilities. Did it work? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. The dinosaurs speak. Yes! Amazing! And that means I won a bet after all. Now, hold on. The bet said if you could teach a dinosaur to do a trick, the Taskomatic did all the work. Yeah, but I'm the one who told the Taskomatic what to do. So it's basically the same thing. I don't know how we can settle this. Taskomatic, please tell us who won the bet. 
At least the chores are done. Yeah, you tricked me. Tricked you? I would never trick you. I don't trick anybody. I don't like playing tricks. <gasps> Look at that. Yeah. Oh, I fall for that one every time. 